Hey YouTube, this is me, uh, XPT2613. You guys can just call me XPT. Um, so I'm going to be making custom carrier logos for your iPod Touch. For your iPhone, you can check out my channel. I have a video for that already. Um, so we'll get started. Go to Google, or if you want a text, if you want words, you can go to cooltext.com. I'll show you how it looks. This is cooltext.com. You can make your custom uh, text logos. Do not use anything animated, like the animated glow burning, because they're GIFs. They're not going to work. Anyway, so go to Google if you want an image. Look for the image you want. Save it to your desktop or wherever you want. Then you're going to open up Photoshop. I chose my image already. It's zero for Mega Man. You're going to edit your picture. Or if it's the way you like it, leave it as that. Next, you're going to, when, well, once you're done editing your picture, you're going to click on the crop tool, which is this tool right here. Right here. This one right here. Then you're going to go up here where it says width. And right here in the box, you're going to type 50, like that, PX. And then in height, you're going to write 20 PX. And once you set that up, you're going to crop the image. So start off at the edge, drag it all the way to the end, so it can't go no more. Then you're going to put this wherever you want, here, here, wherever you want. Okay, so I'm going to put it about there. That's pretty good. You're going to hit enter. It'll make it small. You can click file, save as, and then you're going to save it anywhere on your desktop. Most The desktop is the most preferred place. So, and what you are going to name this, by the way, make sure it's in PNG format. And you're going to name this, uh, you're going to name the file default underscore carrier underscore iPod dot PNG. Now, the default, the capital has to be, a, the D has to be a capital. And in carrier iPod, those have to all be capitals. So make so spell it exactly like this how it is in my video. And make sure it's in PNG format. Hit save. I'll replace mine, whatever. Then you're gonna click on file, save as. You're gonna do it a second time. Except uh, you're gonna name it something you're gonna name it this FSO carrier iPod so you should have two you should like right here like it says it should, you should have a default carrier iPod and you should have an FSO carrier iPod so make sure you spell it exactly like it is here and make sure it's PNG hit save now once you have those saved and if they're on if they're on your, if they're on your desktop you're going to make a folder and you're going to name it com apple com dot apple dot springboard and you're going to spell it like this all lowercase all right once you make that you're going to make another folder and you're going to call it bundles you're going to spell it exactly like it is here capital b u n d l e s then you're going to make another folder, you're going to name it whatever you want. I named mine zero dot theme. You, you don't have to put the dot theme. You can just put whatever you want. Anything, doesn't matter. And once you have that in all these folders, all, the, all these files, you're going to open, you're going to SSH your iPod. I will have a video for that, by the way, if you don't know how to do that yet. Um, this is for jailbroken iPods, by the way, for those people watching and have don't have their iPod jailbroken yet. 
So you're going to use WinSCP for Windows or Intel CyberDuck for Mac. Um, this is the same process for both. So, um, you're going to SSH into your iPod. You are going to go, you're going to go back once, all right? So make sure you're in the backslash private ba backslash var section. You're going to scroll down to stash. You can open up stash. And in stash, there should be a folder called themes. That is where you are going to drag this, your theme that you made, your carrier iPod logo. You're going to drag that into themes. Now I have it already, that's why it's telling me overwrite. So I'm just going to continue. And that's it. Open up your winterboard, check mark it, let winterboard do its thing, and you'll have a carrier logo for your iPod Touch. I can't show you because I don't have an iPod Touch, but this works. I have an iPhone and if you want to learn how to do it again for the iPhones, you check my video, which I do have videos for um, right now. I only have a couple videos because it just started. Um, so please check that out. In, and in my video description, I will have links for everything you need to do all this. I'll have links for Photoshop, for Windows and Mac, links for to, to SSH your iPod for the Windows and Mac also and a video on how to SSH and I'll have a link for my video on custom carrier logos for your iPhone so please comment rate subscribe oh by the way um, feel free to message me or private message me I answer the private messages first um, and I do answer all my, all messages and all comments. Uh, another thing, I do take requests. So if you don't want to do this, you want me to do it for you, I'll be glad to do it for you. I'll send it to you. Just make sure you send me your email. Um, and again, do not post your email on the comments. Send it to me as a private message. And I'll let you know that it's me. So that so you can be expecting it. I should be. You should have it the next day. By the way, I check YouTube every day. So, yeah, please comment and subscribe, and don't forget to rate. Thanks for watching. This is XPT out. Peace.